Every morning, I am greeted by the same bleak world. No changes, no challenges, no fun. Everything is the same as ever. On mornings like this, where I realize my own helplessness, I always just want well, to... whatever. Sulking about it won't change anything. Well, thank you for butting in, Ellen, and welcome to... Good Job. Which, from my understanding, we will... be doing a good job at work today. Let's go to work. Thank you, Ellen, for... reinforcing that. Wasad does not move, by the way. There we go. Uh, I don't... I, I don't think there's a way to interact. We'll just keep it going. Isn't that right, Alan? Why are the... Are those supposed to be boarded up, or... Oh, no. <laughs> it is so dark, I could probably confuse it for glass. Yes. Good morning! Hi, Olivia. If this isn't my favorite co-worker! Yep. Hi. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow! You greeted me back! <laughs> I like this already. <laughs> How delightful! Yep. So, what did you do yesterday? Oh, the same as ever. You know me. <sighs> yeah. I think we've all had um, this type of person in our life. Not to say that they're bad, but just sometimes it's... a lot. <laughs> Every day I enter this office just to be greeted by this stupid woman and her annoying attitude. Being asked the same questions over and over again, I can't stand to hear it anymore. And here she comes. Oh, but don't misunderstand me. The reason I find her annoying is not because of her dull personality. She is annoying because she is literally saying the same things every day, just like a broken doll. But to be fair, this is hardly her fault. After all, she's not aware that we are stuck in a time loop. Hello? Earth to Ellen? Are you there? Huh? Startled by how close she got to me, I can't help but wince. What? Is she looking up at me? How tall am I? You got so quiet all of a sudden. Is everything alright? No. Yeah. I just got lost in thought. Don't worry about it. Let's start working. Sure. If you say so. Oh boy, work. I saw tapping away meaningless words and numbers on my keyboard. Honestly, even this has been the same stuff for ages. No matter how many times I try to switch things up, they still bore me to no end. My gaze ends up on Olivia, who has turned her back to me and is looking out the window. She's also started to be pretty boring, but some loops ago, she died. It was a stupid accident. She slipped and hit her head hard on her desk. Watching her bleed with no way to help her, it made me feel so helpless and weak. At last, the sight of her was too much, and I passed out. I was so anxious the day after that. After all, I had seen her die in front of me. Even though I knew that we were in a time loop, there was still a part of me scared to open the door and see her. Corpse. I still remember how shaky my hand was when I opened to door. And I'll never forget the shiver that run down my spine when I saw her alive and well. She was just standing there at the door frame and greeting me like every other day. Ever since then, I've made it a habit to... Kill her. <laughs> okay. Honestly, by now it has become one of the highlights of my day. So there's no need to pretend and work anymore. Let's have some fun and kill her. <laughs> Alright, Ellen. Boy, oh howdy, how... <laughs> this is just, um... For all the old timers out there, this is like the Kill Your Boss series. Looking at this umbrella reminds me of a scene I read in a novel once. I think it was about someone getting stabbed by a sharpened umbrella tip. Is that a pencil sharpener? I think we're onto something. 
I think I got this some time ago from Olivia. After all, she's the only one who likes using these ridiculously thick pencils. Sure. I think I know what to do. Maybe I could do that too. With the sharpener in hand, I start sharpening the umbrella's tip. Olivia looks at me in astonishment. What are you doing? Oh, you know. I'm just trying something out. And what exactly? I read something interesting. So, I want to see if it actually works. Olivia, if you believe that. Oh, I see. Though I'm not sure if such a sharp tip is safe. You could hurt yourself like that. Sure can. Could hurt others too. That, that'd be crazy. I stand up and open the umbrella. <laughs> I charge right at Olivia, who seems to be, be very surprised at my actions. <laughs> Before she can muster any kind of response, the sharpened tip pierces her chest. To make sure that it'll kill her, I twist the umbrella to largen her wound and pull it out. She sags together in her chair as I stand before her and look down. It seems like my little experiment worked. So, you can kill someone like that without getting dirty. Ever observant, Ellen. Very helpful. Sure is. <laughs> Dead end to six. <laughs> Good job. So, um, I'll, I'll do this a few more times. I don't know how many endings, quote-unquote, there are, but we'll do this together for a little bit. Looking more closely, my gaze falls on my deodorant. Sorry for, um, kind of jumping back in here. I was taking a drink of water as I was interacting with the room, and as it well, turns out, there's... could probably get very creative with that. There's some things I could find in the house. So we have a can of deodorant. Well, I think it's spray-on deodorant. Hi again, Olivia. Sorry about yesterday. If this isn't my favorite coworker, that's gonna change in like th two minutes. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you, Ellen. Me, oh my! What do I want to do with the can of deodorant? Big packet is in the middle of the room. Oh, that's our new shelf. You know, since our old shelf is so wobbly, I just bought a new one. Thank you, Olivia. And with I. I mean our management. <laughs> yeah, I never could have figured that one out. Who asked? <laughs> I knew it was coming. Well, you were staring at it, so I figured I should tell you. I don't know, man. I feel bad for Olivia here. I'm not exactly a bright and cheery man myself, but... You know, someone's got to be bright and cheery, and I always appreciate them. Different office supplies, pair of scissors. Let's let's try figuring out what to do with the deodorant. Most of them even they yeah yeah yeah. Trash can is empty. I could call Olivia. Okay, we're figuring things out. There's a wobbly shelf that might be able to fall on Olivia. Which speaking of, uh, Olivia's shelf, she has put so much stuff in there. I'm afraid it'll fall if I open it. Coffee cup is Olivia's prize, prized possession. Are you thirsty? N no. No. No, 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 no. I was just wondering what the number one on your cup stands for. <laughs> this is gonna be something that's really laugh out loud worthy, isn't it? Obviously. It stands for number one co-worker in the whole world. Yeah, you could work on a different number one. <laughs> that, okay, that was kind of lame. Olivia's radio. My first loops, I try to listen to some radio program in order to figure out whether or not I'm really stuck in a time loop because obviously murdering her is not enough. In the end, it really was the same program over and over. So, but I would just leave it alone. It's way too depressing to hear the same thing all the time. Odds and ends in the drawer. Ooh, found the lighter. I've only seen it in movies, but I could it could get fun to use this with my deodorant. Yeah. 
Swiftly, I take the lighter in one hand and my deodorant in the other. <laughs> I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but it seems I'm doing it right now, or doing it right since there's a ridiculously huge flame. It has also hit its target. Got her. <laughs> her screams die down quickly, but it seems like the flames engulfing her body are now burning down the building. I wonder what will happen first. Will I also burn down, or will I pass out first? Let's not think about that. Awesome. Let. Good job. You want to help me? Oh my darling. Thank you so much! I, uh, I, I didn't expect this. With your help, I'm sure this experiment will be successful. Um. Oh, okay, let's, um, let's go through our belongings again. Maybe something changed. Well, I could... No, 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 we are... Okay, well, I'm, I have the deodorant, I guess. Oh, what's wrong? You look like you're in an even worse mood than usual. <laughs> How observant. I just had a shitty dream. Okay. Oh, I see. Well, don't let this pull you down. Yeah, sure. Am I like in a coma and I'm just fantasizing about killing my coworker? Okay, let's um hmm. I guess we just go for the shelf, right? Uh, could crash at any moment. Yeah, buh, buh, buh. I could call Olivia over here. Hey, uh, Olivia. Come here, please. Hey, Olivia. Could you come over here? I need your help. Oh. Uh, sure. So, what do you need me to do? I am looking for my accountant notes in here, but I can't find them. God, what am I doing? <laughs> Let me look for them. It was the blue folder, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Olivia, she's looking for a folder that was never in there. While she's searching for it, I quickly move to the side and shove the shelf. <laughs> Goodbye, Olivia. Her body is buried under the shelf. I can only see her long hair spilling out. Since I can't perceive any more sounds or movements from her, I suppose it worked. That was surprisingly easy. Dead end four, so I got three, four, and six. So far I'm really enjoying this. Good morning! <sighs> hey. If this isn't my thing... Uh-huh, yep, heard that I'm one before. I'm very happy to see you, Ellen! You won't be in about two minutes. I already said that I'm falling into the time loop now, apparently. Let's, um, can I do anything with the lighter without the deodorant? No, I... okay. Yeah, I already did that. Shelf belongs to me. I don't really like putting anything in here, so it's pretty oh. empty. Is there something in there? No. Read the text like I just did. My gaze sweeps over to Olivia. If I pretend that there's something, she'll probably come over here. Okay. <laughs> That's something. It'd be pretty easy to just slam her head into this shelf. Should I... Should I do that? Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. It's kind of grotesque, if I'm being honest. Oh, you know me, the beacon of honesty. Huh. Really? She probably got up to see for herself. Um... I don't see any... God. Before she can even finish her sentence, I grab the little door and slam it repeatedly into her head. Then I push her head into the shelf so that she's stuck there. Yeah. Didn't I say just that? Cool one-liner, Ellen. It's pretty grotesque what's in there. Oh my, yeah, we get it. Dead end five, three, four, five, six. So I'm missing one and two. If there's only six, I I don't oh, know. So that's what happened to Big Sis. It's 
really tragic that she died before she could ever finish her project. But well, it is what it is. Oh, and before I forget, don't try to kill yourself again, okay? <laughs> what? Your misguided sense of guilt isn't going to make anything better. Moreover, I want to run some tests on you too. Okay. I, I think I'm getting close to an actual ending. Good morning! Good morning! If this isn't my favorite coworker! Um, I'm gonna start spouting off what she's saying at this point. I'm very happy to see, see you, you, Ellen! See you, Ellen! Yippee! Can I do anything at my computer? Different office supplies. Oh yeah, the... Duh, the scissors. Sharp scissors in my hand and sneak a glance at Olivia. Hmm. I could go the easy route and just stab her. I certainly could. Or I could use them for something else. I also certainly could. Obtain scissors. Let's... Let's go for the tried and true. Mm -hmm. Like, Hitman style. Do you need something, Ellen? Yeah, would you like a little off the top? <laughs> stab. Just the brevity of it. Stabber. Yeah. God. Shocked, she stares at me as she tries to grasp the situation. Uh, what? I made sure to cut deep so it doesn't take long for her to just bleed out. Even if doing this feels kind of soothing, it's still so messy. Number one, I guess. Why are you doing this to me? Because of the content. Why do I have to see her face every day? See her talking and laughing happily. When it was me who killed her. I can't do this anymore. If this goes on, I'd... I'd rather just... What a dream. I feel worse than usual. Awesome. And I think I got a grasp of the, uh... The, the story behind all this, but we will see before I make any Good assumptions. Good morning! If this isn't this is my, my favorite, favorite co-worker. Co-worker. I'm very, I'm very happy, happy to see, to see you, you again, Ellen. Oh, not again. I'm not completely gone yet, thankfully. So we get the scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what would I do with si like the radio? Maybe like I cut the radio. I think I've interacted with everything, save for the window. Yeah, let me try the window, and then I'll like try leaving the office. We're in the third floor, so we have a pretty nice view. Too bad that we can't open the windows. I would have liked trying to push Olivia out of it. So, we will leave. I... Hmm. Okay, well. Let me think here. Ah, I... Okay, had to interact with it twice. Got it. I could use my scissors. I sure can. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit her with a 2 by 4 I take one board in my hand and take a step towards Olivia. Surprised she looks up from her work. Hmm? What's wrong? Do you want to put the new shelf up already? That's one way to put it. Just, <laughs> just as that stupid question left her mouth, the board hits her head. The impact was so great that she fell out of her chair. It seems like she wants to say something. However, before she has the chance to do that, I swing it and hit her again. I hit her a few more times, and again and again and again. In the end, her lifeless body lies on the floor as I try to catch my breath. Well, that's what she gets for making me live through this all alone. Dead end two. Good morning! If this isn't my- Yeah, I get Shut it. Shut up. Oh. 
I can't stand to hear just another word coming out of your mouth. Huh? Why? Did I... do something wrong? No. But that doesn't mean that you're doing anything right, either. Olivia looks at me with a concerned expression. I have no idea what's going on through her head, but just the look on her face makes my blood boil. I don't need any of your pity. I'm not pitying you, I just worry... I don't need that, either. I've had enough. I can't take this anymore. Do you even know how hard it is to be stuck in a time loop? How empty I feel, knowing that nothing I do or think will change anything? Ellen. She gently puts her hand on my shoulder, as if she wants to comfort me. However, I only feel repulsed by that action. Okay, I throw Olivia down on the ground and sit on her stomach. I put my hands firmly on her throat and start choking her. Don't even try to console me with these empty words of yours. Nothing you do will make me feel better. I can feel her body under me uh, going still as her chest stops heaving. After all, you won't even remember this. This seems a little bit like foreshadowing. With these words, I lose consciousness and fall on top of her. Number seven. Of course I'd wake up here. <laughs> Another day in the life. Okie dokie. We're in the eyeball room now. Something feels... off. I was about to make a joke that that's a reference to the game Off. Which I uh, thought about playing, but I don't know. I'm kind of behind on... Good morning! Being greeted by Olivia. I'm kind of behind on, um, like, series of games, but I might get around to it. Who knows? If this isn't my favorite co-worker! What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. You could say that. Your neck. Wait. These marks. Oh. This? Oh, she does have neck marks. Alich Alichia. Olivia touches her neck and gives me a small smile. Yesterday did leave a bit of a mark, I guess. Oh, no. How is this possible? This has never happened before. Yeah, because I normally clean up any evidence before the next day. You... what now? I'm not really able to register anything, she is saying. I can only stare in disbelief at Olivia and the dark marks around her throat. Olivia only sighs in return. Huh? For what? I'm sorry for putting you in this situation and not even explaining anything to you. To be honest, I thought you were the one who wasn't able to remember anything. Since your code got messed up and all. What? Huh? What? Code? What are you talking about? Uh, I have no idea how to explain all of it properly. Then start by telling me if we are actually in a time loop. You seem to remember everything. She looks surprised at me. A time loop? Yeah, you did say something like that yesterday. Olivia shakes her head as if she tries to clear her thoughts. To answer your question, no. We both have been here for exactly 528 days. That seemed a little robotic. But then, 
how are you still alive? I... I killed you so many times. That's because I cannot die. <laughs> Mystery solved. Seeing the complete confusion on my face, she clears her throat. Well, it's rather that I cannot die because I'm not really alive as well. You're not getting any clearer. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I am a copy of Olivia Unster. She was a researcher who wanted to overcome death and reach immortality. What? So, are you her clone? Not quite. I'm actually an android. However, the software I'm running on was by no way completed at the time of Unster's death. So while I do have her memories, it's not really like I can completely understand her. I'm completely out of my element right now. I This game took a wild turn. So, you're not human, but an android version of a dead woman. I prefer Apple myself. Correct. <laughs> why, why did I make that joke? I stare into Olivia's eyes. My gut feeling is telling me that there is more to this story, but I feel hesitant to ask. On the other hand, I feel like I will never know if I don't ask now. How? How did she die? Olivia looks to the side as she seems to be contemplating whether to tell me or not. That look makes me grow restless. Please, tell me. However, Olivia turns away from me. Gaining immortality and spending an eternity alone was far too lonely for Unster. I think I understand. So she took whatever resources she had and... <sighs> and made you part of her experiments. I think I don't understand. Huh? I knew the real Olivia? Olivia nods. The two of you were... lovers. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Probably my reaction is just... okay. Not only did I know her, we were in a relationship, too. Then why don't I remember her? I only know you, not some researcher named Olivia. Hearing that makes Olivia smile a bit. Unster turned you into an android. Unlike me, you once were truly human. However, she made a mistake and everything went terribly wrong. I'm just being hit with like sidewinders right now is... <laughs> Like, every sentence is a new revelation. She takes a deep breath of air before she continues. In the end, Unster died by your hand. I, I thought I gathered that from the nightmares. Even though I don't remember a single thing about that woman, I feel a shiver running down my back. I clutch the ends of my shirt as I try to even my breathing. Surprisingly, this affects me way more than I thought it would. After that... Unster's sister took up her research and made us her test subjects. However, her work was pretty sloppy, which resulted in your mental instability and your memory loss. So what is the experiment about? What? So we are just lab rats? No, not anymore. I think she reached a satisfying conclusion and left us alone here. W what was the conclusion? is a lot to take in. Olivia just shoots me a sympathetic smile. So I was turned into a robot, killed my lover, and ended up as a lab rat. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Olivia. 
Uh, I can see why I was a lover to you, apparently. And even then, I continued to just kill you over and over again. Yup. It's alright, Ellen. No, it's not. I was frustrated because I thought that my life, my choices, and my will didn't have any meaning. However, that is no excuse for what I did to you. I'm so sorry for making you suffer like that. To my surprise, Olivia looks at me as if I had said something stupidly endearing. Oh, Ellen. Stuff like that doesn't matter to me. I'm not human, so I don't feel any pain. So if it helped you distress, I don't mind it. What? <laughs> yeah, just keep killing me, you know? You are the reason I exist. Whether you abuse me or are nice to me, it's all the same. I feel content as long as I am by your side. So don't worry about it too much. It's all right. I just stare at her in disbelief. Yeah, same. That's so not all right. There's no way you should be fine with someone treating you like that. Thank you. I took the words out of my mouth. Just like I said. I don't get... So are you saying that the guilt and remorse I'm feeling right now are unnecessary? Even if you don't care, I want you to know that at least I am aware of my wrongdoings. <sighs> if I can do you any favor in order to make my amends, please let me know. Olivia looks very surprised. She seems to be left speechless. Uh, well, um, this is the first time someone has told me something like that. So wait! Let me think of something. She looks around the room until her gaze stops at the window. Is something out there? Well, to be honest, my whole life, I've been stuck in this place. So if you'd be so nice, would you like to travel the world with me? Yeah. Wait. That's it? Yes. I've always wanted to leave this place and see more of the world in Unster's memories. But I knew I'd never feel happy if I'd just leave you here. So, I stayed with you. This is making me feel even more guilty. If that's what you want, then let's do it. Traveling does sound nice, so I'll follow you wherever you are going. And, okay, that was it. Uh, I, I really, really liked that. It was a fun little game. The only thing I have criticize, criticism of it is, um, I don't know what the point of the experiment was, or anything like that. Like, the twist was very unexpected, you know, all of that, but... I, I don't know, maybe I just want a little more of it. It was really, really fun. I'm really glad I played it. So, thank you guys for showing up. If you like what I do, think about subscribing and leaving a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.